two family. This is a uh, sort of a special edition, if you will. Um, I think this is going to be like episode 55, I believe it is. But I may release episode 55 before I release episode 54. 54 is already shot and done, but I just haven't uploaded it yet. But uh, this one was a uh, awesome, awesome haul I had today at Half Price Books. So I spent 150 bucks out the door for everything you're about to see. I've got a first, a uh, few like double covers type deals I've got going on first, and then we'll just get to rolling. Uh, this is Green Lantern number one. I've got both editions here, um, the direct edition and the newsstand uh, copy. So that is pretty cool. Uh, next up, and I spent uh, three bucks a piece on these. Next one is G.I. Joe number one and G.I. Joe number one. The difference with this one is that it's a wizard edition. I don't know if that means it's like a like a wizard, like a comic book con, or if maybe it's signed on the splash page. I'm not really sure. Anyone out there that can tell me, uh, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, I believe I spent somewhere in the neighborhood of like a uh, $1.50 for these. So pretty cool these bad boys i got for the grand price of faux free i love me some free and I, that's what i got these for okay rolling on rolling on these are not worth anything really um but i bought these strictly for cover and this was oh i got everything at half price books if i didn't say that i think i did 150 bucks half price books uh, I had a phenomenal um, time in there talking uh, with one of the guys, and uh, he I think he really took care of me. So, anyways, here is a uh, John Romita Jr. cover. This is Spider-Man 43, or it'd be 484 and continue uh, in continue in continuity. There we go. Um, it's not worth really anything. I just thought it's a cool cover. The next one is Batman Legends of the Dark Knight 150. That's just a really cool cover. Get a closer look at that. Just really, really cool. I'd never seen this cover before. So, uh, really awesome to add that to my collection. The next one, not worth anything, but a uh, really cool cover. Uh, Captain America Living Legend number one. Um, this one's worth what I paid for it. Uh, I spent half on cover of that. Two dollars. And then it had been like a dollar something for this. Half off a of cover for Rasputin. Uh, number one. Uh, I'm assuming this is based off of the Rasputin that they, um, uh, cut off the head, stabbed, mutilated. They did everything that they could to, uh, make sure Rasputin didn't come back but this is an image comic uh, let's see what we got next what we got next let's just go with this I've actually read 1602 um, I've read the first issue but I don't own it I'd read it on uh, Marvel now or whatever it's called it was for free so I read it and I really liked it um, so I got one oops hey Taisy excuse me Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. And I hope I didn't screw up at the store and walk out of there without getting the whole set. And I'm feeling like that's what happened. Oh, I will cuss myself if I did that. And I think that's exactly what I did. Stand by one. I'm going to be mad, man, if I walked out of there without two and three. Well, apparently I'm just an idiot, and uh, I walked out of there somehow with my head up my butt, and I didn't buy two and three. Uh, I had the whole run, man. God, I'm, that makes me mad. Okay, quick update. I went back to the store today. I got part two. I got part three. I also got the uh, second print, the gold cover for Ghost Rider number 15. I would, this one looks pretty awesome. I really like this cover. Um, got Groot number one for half a cover. 
this was half of the covers as well. So half a dollar seventy-five. Uh, this was two dollars. Really, really nice shape. Two dollars for Daredevil number one. Oh, I've been seeing this in everybody's uh, video. Um, not a comic book that's worth a ton of money, but I bought it for two bucks. It's in uh, really good shape. It's a J. Scott Campbell uh, cover. And then the last one, look at this one. This book is really starting to rise in value. This is Avengers vs. X-Men um, number zero. Uh, I actually have a number zero variant that's signed CGCSS, but um, anyways, this one's got quite a bit of value to it. This is like a, uh, um, on what I've seen on one of the websites that I go to all the time, it was like a $16 book in mint shape, you know, consistent 10, 12, 14, and I spent two bucks on it. So I was glad I screwed up on not getting the uh, other books so I could go back today and get more. Here's four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and that was all. That, that ended 1602. Man, I am so... I am so hissed off right now, man. I cannot believe I walked out of there. I had them all. I had the whole set together. I don't know where the other one is. Man. Okay. Show must go on. It's not like they're expensive comics. I just, I wanted to be able to read the whole story. So, um, I'll have to go back tomorrow. Man, that makes me mad. Flipping idiot. Gosh. So, uh, I got Punisher number four. I've always really liked this cover. I've got number one that's uh, signed and sketched. Uh, signed by Zek and Beatty. And I'll flash up a picture of that right here. Oh my gosh, I'm still upset. Okay, so Earth 2 Society um, number one. I bought that one for $1.50. I've also got JLA number one. I already have, I have the one in 100 or whatever it is of this cover, but I just figured I'd buy it again for half off. So all these are half off. So I got two, three, four, and now five was not there. So that wasn't, that was intentional. I mean, just wasn't there. Six and seven. I think that catches me up. Eight might be out. I'm not sure. So, y'all know I always save some of the best for last. So, uh, we'll we'll do these two first. Here is um, Spider-Man number 500, and I spent uh, I think half half a cover on that one, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Half a cover on that one. And that one's got a little bit of money to it. It's J. Scott Campbell cover, I do believe, from 2003. And then I got this bad boy right here. Yes, sir. Half off cover. This this comic has blown up um, because this is the first time that he wears this certain armor. And they're thinking that that's going to be, if Spider-Man makes an appearance in Civil War, it's something about this armor. That's why the comic went. Uh, outrageously high so I got that for a dollar twenty five so hooray for me so next I got I've actually got the variant cover of this but I figured for a dollar fifty couldn't go wrong death stroke number one and look at this oh let's do this one I spent five dollars on this one this is Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad number two, and I got this one for twelve dollars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Awesome, 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 and a buck fifty on that one. But that ain't all. That ain't all. I also got. 
Hulk 161. Look at that cover, man. Beast. Awesome. It's just got this uh, this writing right up here, 1212, it looks like. And that's the only thing I can really see wrong on it. It's a really, it's a really nice-shaped uh, comic. I paid $3 for that one. I did pay up for a couple of these just to uh, help make a deal on the last one. Um, I got 169. Look at that. That is a beautiful, vibrant color. Um, I love that uh, cover right there. That is a beautiful cover. And I got Hulk 170. Another really cool, vibrant all the blues and greens and yellows and everything. It's a very vibrant cover. Um, I bought 201. And I don't know if that's supposed to be like Conan the Barbarian or, or who that's supposed to be. I'll flash it up down there at the bottom if I figure out who this was. But um, this one doesn't have a whole lot of value to it. But I just really, I really, really like that cover. That is an awesome cover. It's by Mike... Uh, I guess it's Mignola. It's M I G N O L A. Mignola or Mignola. I don't know how to pronounce it. And I got this one. I think I got this one for like three or five bucks. I think. Um, no, this one might have been 12. I think I actually spent 12 on this one for some reason. It's a very nice copy of uh the first appearance of the thunderbolts so this comic blew up here a while back too because there was rumor that they may possibly be in a movie so it blew up um i'm i think this still has quite a bit of value to it i can't remember um but y'all 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 will correct me if i'm wrong um okay the last comic book that i've got is the second appearance of a comic book character it's a uh Oh, it's a it's a it's a popular cover uh, for sure, and just going to continue along this uh, incredible Hulk. Uh, as digging through all these, man, I started getting excited because I'm like 169, 170, 175. I think I hit like 185. I'm like, man, I'm so close to like getting the first appearance of Wendigo, or a cameo appearance of Wolverine, or the first appearance of Wolverine. But it just wasn't to be. But the last one I got is king size annual number five of the incredible hulk and it's the second appearance of groot uh he made he was like a 15 or something year gap in between the first time that he made his appearance in like tells of suspense or tells to i think it's tells of suspense uh, it's an early early issue um and then he went away, and then it, this was his uh, second appearance. So, uh, really cool to add this one to the collection. It's a pretty nice comic. Um, it's got a little corner bend up here. And it might have a little bit of one down here, but it still it displays very, very beautifully. And I spent 20 bucks on that. So, all in all, it was a, a really, really good day for me. Um, really great haul. Uh, my hat's off to the guy that helped me do all this. Um, so, anyways, um, thank you all for uh, watching. Thanks for all my subscribers. I went over 100 uh, subscribers, so I'm very happy about that. I'm very proud uh, that I've accomplished that. Uh, I hope to continue to be able to provide a, uh, a good product for y'all to watch and uh, an entertaining product uh, as well. Y'all know sometimes I like to uh, bust out into voices and stuff like that. It doesn't mean I'm any good at doing it. I just, for some reason, I like doing it. So, uh, anyways, thank y'all very much for watching, and bats all, folks.